Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda and I'm with Debt Free Panda. And today I'm going to be showing you my new Create Room Cubby. And before I show you the process and the build and the final result, I do wanna mention that Create Room sent me the cubby for consideration for a review and to show you guys how it works, to fill it up, all that good stuff. So thank you so much to Create Room for sending it over to me. And they also provided a coupon code for you guys to use. That'll be linked down in the description or you can wait until the end of the video to see it for yourself. So thank you guys. Now let's get into the video. So the next couple minutes here are gonna be me building the Create Room cubby. And I will say it only took me 46 minutes based on the time of my video. So it comes with a anchor to secure it to your wall, which is really nice. And I have my screwdriver and my drill and all of the parts come labeled. That is amazing. Even better than Ikea, let me tell you that. So I was able to put the top and the sides on and then the back part. This was the part that was just a little bit tricky. I kind of confused myself on their orientation, but eventually I got it. And putting on the top was also a little bit of a feat, but I was able to do it all by myself. I didn't have to ask my spouse to assist me. So I'm very happy I was able to do this all by myself. Um, and after the sides and the back and the top go on, you put, you slide in the center portion, you drill all of it back. I will say drilling was a must for securing it quickly. The instructions were very easy to read and oh i will say the cubbies um the in view totes i should say came in a separate box so that's what i'm unloading here the tracks are in there as well as all of the in view totes they were all very secure and let me tell you putting on the tracks was the easiest thing ever it was so easy thinking to ikea you have to like screw in all of their tracks for their drawers but these just pop into the holes it made it super super easy to do and here it is all done so now we're gonna move it up to my craft room so here is the current state of my craft room slash office it is a mess i had to break out another folding table to package orders and here is the cubby in its home for now i'm so excited to fill it up but there is more I need to show you guys. So I'm hoping to clear out and clean up this paper organizer I got from Michaels. It has my foiling supplies, cardstock, random <laughs> things of photo paper, and I really desperately need to clean it up. And down underneath my desk here are shipping supplies that I'm hoping I can put into the cubby because it's a disaster. And my cart that's next to my desk is also a little bit messy. It has other shipping supplies in it as well. I just, I really need to clean up my craft room. So hopefully a craft room tour will be up on my channel as well. But for now, I do just want to show you guys the overview of the mess. And now we're going to get started on the cubby. Okay moved the cubby down here and I took out all the supplies that were as you saw shoved into all sorts of different places in my craft room and this is <laughs> the before <laughs> um I don't know if I can fit all this in here but I'm going to try um I have shipping supplies paper washi tape unfinished products that I need to work on, um, other miscellaneous products that I sell, and um, sets of paper for my tabbed envelopes. Um, so let's see if I can fit all this stuff in here. I'm very excited for all the different cubbies that it comes with. These different sizes are really nice, and these 12 by 12 sizes will be perfect for that's all rose gold paper <laughs> right there. All rose gold paper. I'm pretty sure I can fit all of that into two of the 12 by 12 cubbies, but this is what we're dealing with. 
Um, I was able to I was able to somewhat organize my other paper organizer over here, but ignoring everything that's over there, um, it looks pretty okay. So I'm gonna keep working on cleaning up and organizing my craft room. My cart is a little bit better than it was before. Underneath my desk was the biggest pain point for me. I knew that this cubby would help me organize all of my shipping supplies that I used to keep in that box right there. And now just things that won't fit inside the cubby will stay under there. And like, it's mostly things that I don't use that often, like priority mailers. I mostly ship USPS first class. Um, as you can see, my cute little mailers right there from Small Business Supply Co. And these rigid ones from the Happy Shipping Company. So, and we can get this filled together. <laughs> Okay, here it is. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with it. It's a mix of small business essentials as well as product organization and supplies. So let's go ahead and I'll give you guys a little tour. So up at the top, I have a fake plant, a diffuser, a cute little mosaic tray, and two of the InView totes are up top. I have one organizing my cute tissue paper here from Business Supply Co. And I have my compostable um, poly mailers from Min Living. You can find them on Amazon and they also have a website. Um, and then the second one has my tab stickers that I order wholesale from planet with stickers she has an amazing planner sticker shop and back there i have um scratcher tools for my saving scratcher tickets so that's the top portion a little decorative a little bit of organization and then let's get down to the bottom to all the cute little drawers so starting on this side I have two totes full of rose gold paper. Um, rose gold envelopes are some of my best sellers, so I always make sure I have a ton on hand just in case I get an influx of orders. And then below them, I have my foil. So this is for my foiled stickers that I sell and uh, maybe someday foiled cash, envelope, um, cash envelopes. So those I have there. And then below that, I have my work in progress pocket size envelopes here and a couple extra rolls of foil from different brands. Um, and then below that, I have sets of paper that are already bundled together that like coordinate with each other. So they're all binder clipped in the back. You can't see that, but I have some that like I haven't cut out yet so that's where those will go and then below that I have my cash gift box tins so these I make little labels that stick on top of a box and I have also this cute tooth alert box so you know your child or anyone would place their tooth inside and then the tooth fairy will be notified and they will make a visit so these are really, these are a really popular seller too. I need to make more of them, but I have some in case of emergency, open me ASAP in different styles, different stickers on the top here. These are good for giving to a college student or a recent graduate, as you see here. And this one is my favorite, no ramen tonight, dinner on me. So I think that's really clever. Um, even just to randomly send a gift to maybe a niece or a nephew or a cousin that might be in college. Um, I also have my cheers to the newlyweds is what this one is. And that one comes in a different color too. So that's where those live. They used to be in a very ugly cardboard box. So I'm happy that they finally have a home. And then over here, 
Starting at the bottom, we have my entire collection of washi tapes. So a lot of these are simply gilded. And I have some other random ones that I've gotten on Etsy. Um, but that's where they live. I'm glad that they also have a better home. They were in the clear Michael's drawers, but I just think this, this will actually have me use them. And then coming up here, where the other two drawers would have lived, I have Lily, a little visitor. <laughs> um, so here I have my Small Business Supply Co. bubble mailers. So that's where these live. It's two, two stacks deep. I still have more that I'm going to store in my storage room that's down here, but for now I can at least store the majority of them. And then coming up we have some more shipping supplies. I have some extra compostable mailers here and then 10 by 13 mailers from Small Business Supply Co. Compostable mailers I got on Amazon and then again some 10 by 13 mailers from Small Business Supply Co. And then over here, I have some extra Dymo thermolabels and some priority mail envelopes here for really, really big orders. I've had to break that out a couple times. And then the next drawer up, I have my other shipping supplies. So my six by six rigid mailers and then another Dymo thermolabel right there. Um, so I have my six by six rigid. And then my six by nine rigid over here from the Happy Shipping Co. So I like using fun packaging. It makes the experience a little bit more elevated for my customers. So, and I'm supporting small businesses as well. So that's it as far as an overview of my now organized cubby. I think my craft room is going to feel a lot better once I continue to clean it up. I will say there were just a couple things I could not fit in there, which were a couple more paper stacks and some sticker paper. But the beauty of the cubby is that you can actually stack them. So if I were to get a second one, which I might, <laughs> um, you can stack it on top of this and it comes with attachments to you know, make it safe and to secure it to the wall. So that's my cubby and I'm very excited about it and I want to thank Create Room for sending it out to me. I, as you guys know, I am saving up money for a dream box and they said, hey, you know, while you're saving up money, how about we send you a cubby for you, you know, to store all your stuff in for now? And I was like, oh my gosh, heck yes, thank you. <laughs> so there's that, it's so cute. Um, I also have a coupon code for you guys if you want to grab one of these yourself. Um, and before you do so, I also have a savings tracker you can pick up on my free resources section on my website. You can color in all the drawers, you know, for however amount of dollars you want to save for it, if you want to get one or two. Um, but that's there for free and you can use Debt Free Panda Cubby to save $50 off. $50. That's, that's an amazing deal. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys, but I think this is perfect for like a shipping station. Like it is amazing for a shipping station. So there's that, but yeah, see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video and please leave a comment down below what you would store in your crate room cubby. So Thanks guys. Bye.